So far in this class when we've needed to position an angle, we've done so by placing zero on the positive x-axis and then moving in a counterclockwise direction to place our angle going around 90, 180, 270, 360. Today though we're going to do things a little bit differently to learn how to do some story problems using the law of science that we've learned today. We'll learn about using bearings. Bearings is used in navigation, so if you're a pilot or a ship captain, this is something you would need to know about. Um, or it's just a good thing for probably everyday common people to know so that if they're reading an article about it, they would understand. Okay, so bearings, instead of going from the positive x-axis, instead we go from the direction north, like on a compass. So north, south, east, west. We start at north, where z zero is at north, and then we go clockwise instead toward the east to do our angles. So for example, if we wanted a 60 degree bearing, that would be start at north, which is zero, and go 60 degrees toward east, and that would be our 60 degree bearing. That would be the direction we are flying or, or sailing or whatever, okay? Another way of writing bearing sometimes would be to say north, 60 degrees east, and that would mean to start at north and go 60 degrees toward the east. That's just another way I've seen it sometimes. So of course if you're doing a bigger number like 225 degrees, which we're going to have in this next problem we're doing, then we have to go clear around, here's 180, 225 would be here, going that direction. Going directly west would be 270, directly south would be 180, directly east would be 90. Okay, let's look at this problem. A pilot leaves an airport and flies 100 miles at a bearing of 18 degrees. She then detours from her plan and flies due east, 90 degree bearing, to drop supplies to a snowbound family. After the drop, she returns to the airport at a bearing of 225 degrees. How far was she from the airport when she dropped supplies for the family? Okay, let's go through a sentence at a time. A pilot leaves an airport and flies bearing of 18 degrees. 18 degrees is upward, so let's start our airport kind of down here. Because 18 degrees would be, here's north. So 18 degrees would be like going that direction, sort of, right? So she goes 100 miles that way. At that 18 degrees. Then she goes directly east for we don't know how long directly east, drops some supplies to a family, and then she has to fly back to the airport, and that one ends up being at a 225 degree bearing, right? Okay, so we have an 18 degree angle here, and we have a 225 degree angle here, but neither of those angles is actually inside the triangle so that we can solve the triangle. We want to know how far she is from that airport, so that's what we're trying to find right there. X marks the distance. Okay, well, if this is directly east, so that's like at a 270 degree, that line right there from this point is 270 degrees, and then the bearing was 225 degrees, then what is this angle in the triangle? Well, all we have to do is go 270 subtract 225 and that gives us a 45 degree angle in the triangle right there. Okay, another thing to be aware of is that this line here is going straight east so that would be 90 from this line going south but there's this angle in here from having not gone directly from the south but rather in an 18 degree bearing. So this is an 18 degree angle in addition to this 90 degree angle, which makes this angle here 108 degrees. Okay, so now look at what we have. We have 100 miles across from a 45 degree angle, and we have 108 degrees across from the distance that we want to find. So all we have to do is law of sines, sine of 45 over 100 equals the sine of 108 over x, we cross multiply and solve, so x equals 100 sine 108 divided by the sine of 45. I'll let you put it in your calculator and find the answer.